Good afternoon, everybody. It is just a shade before 2 o'clock on Tuesday, September 5th. Thanks you for tuning in. I'm your host, Bob Loop. And as you can probably see from the screen, uh, the lovely new female Russian sniper unit on screen as is a part of the new In the Name of the Tsar DLC, which came out today for Battlefield 1. It's a nice little download, uh, nothing uh, too crazy, uh, just a shade over 10 gigs. It is the 1.13 update. And if you do have uh, In the Name of the Tsar waiting for you, that's where it's coming from. So I just wanted you to see this screen. It's fantastic. It's very nice. Uh, we're just going to jump right in and take a look at a couple of new things going on with the new Battlefield expansion. I hope you're doing well, by the way. Thank you for tuning in. I do appreciate it. I'm just going to let this load up. Personalizing experience. I mean, it's as personal as it gets. It is my <laughs> PlayStation, after all. Anywho. We need a little bit of an update. They're just going to clean up some stuff. Nothing crazy. <clears throat> yep, yep. Do this again. Blah, blah, blah. All right. In the name of the Tsar, early access has started. Battlefield 1 Premium owners can now start their two-week early access to Battlefield 1. The name of the Tsar, the Russian Army, new maps, weapons, vehicles, and more await in the most extensive Battlefield 1 expansion yet. And I am very, very excited in the name of the Tsar. By the way, these are Russian maps, Russian units, and things of that nature. So that's why I'm very excited, because I love all this good stuff. Now, as you can see... Uh, on the screen, a, a good couple of things have changed. Uh, there is uh, Premium 2 XP uh, active right now. And most of the menu is the same. You're just going to have other things you can scroll through. Down below, uh, you've got your uh, little battle packs that you can unlock through uh, time, usage, and experience. Uh, what is going on here? <clears throat> Anyways, sorry about that. I was <laughs> something's going on here. It doesn't really matter. Okay. So what is uh, going on? So we've got this, and then we've also got uh, another little item here uh, for these new uh, class perks that you can work on that we will talk about in a second. Uh, so everything, uh, when you go through multiplayer, it's pretty much the same campaign. What you're going to do is you're going to come over to Soldier. You're going to see a lot of the same stuff. Your rank, you're still going to have your platoon, uh, weapons and gadgets. Obviously, the number got increased. Metals, ribbons uh, increased. Codex increased. Dog tags increased. Uh, as well, probably uh, some community missions differing on whatever the hell they have going on right now. Right now, it is the Zodiac mission. Get one, one Nemesis kill? Okay. Well, there you go. You get a Nemesis kill and you get the Virgo. Uh, <laughs> dog tag. Uh, anyways, yeah, there there are new medals, ribbons. Uh, the new dog tags, a uh, couple will be earned. Uh, they did increase the rank. Uh, you can now have a one uh, twenty max. Uh, so it went colonel, and then they raised it to one ten, which is brigadier general. And now they're doing a. Uh, Lieutenant General right there uh, for reaching 120. 
service assignments is something really big they got going on. Uh, it's basically class. Uh, it, it, they're they're class centric. Uh, you know, storm the doors. This is more assault, obviously. Medic, support, sniper. Uh, omnivore is obviously a dinosaur that <laughs> does a little bit of everything they eat, uh, vegetables and uh, animals. And you can scroll down and see all these little things that, that basically just deals with everything, whether it's tanks, rounds, uh, etc. And you also have the opportunity to click on these and track them. So if I, I myself will probably use the medic one first, I can actually click on this and track it uh, as they go. Uh, or, well, track, you can see the square at the bottom, there we go, being tracked. So that during the game, I can see, hey, I need this, I need this, I need this. Uh to get that now you need to get three of these unlocked of these getting started doesn't matter which three but you have to have three unlocked to then open up the stain focused and the stain focused now you you've already got three that are available to you immediately uh which we will show you in a second but basically once you unlock three to get started then you can work on all of your stain focused now it's also a plan of battlefield to uh, have more uh they're going to do more stain focus they're also going to uh at a later update i can't say it's going to be the absolute next update in line but they are going to make more of these service assignments there are going to be more perks and things like that i mean basically it was they're basically listening to the crowd because the a lot of the players are saying there's not enough in the game there's not enough to do not enough assignments and they don't want it to get repetitive. They want it to keep it fresh, even though they're, you know, not coming out with uh, seemingly as many packs or as many weapons. Although this one does include eleven uh, new guns and weapons, uh, they want to keep it fresh. So they're now that they're going to be uh, doing updates and they they made the stain focused. They're going to be making more, either more stay focused or just new levels, so that when you hop in, you're a new player. You know, okay, you got to do three of these getting started, so then you got to do a couple of these stay focused, and then maybe you just move down the line. Uh, there's a descriptive here of everything that you have to do as well. Uh, when you do the getting started, obviously there's a list there, and then when you select the staying focused, when you get to them, uh, it says your rewards and such, but it'll also tell you, just like here, all the little tabs you need to do to award yourself with these sorts of things. Now, when you go to your customized player, down at the bottom is the Specializations tab now. And when you click on it, you can see they already have three in there automatically that everyone gets. Flak, Cover, and Quick Regen. Now, uh, these are all the ones that we can unlock. Quick Unspot, Bayonet Training, etc. And these are the ones that we just have to unlock as we go, as well as others that are class specific these are generally non-class these are all the non -class and class specific rolled into one because when you go to another character you'll see that you've got these but now you've got uh new uh perks such as stimulus syringe which you didn't have uh before at least not with the support package that we were just looking for as we are now in the medic package there are new weapons, uh, new melees. Uh, uh, the Cossack Dagger is brand new. That's unlocked automatically. Uh, there wasn't a lot of melees. There were only two melees, but the Cossack Dagger. And then there's another that has to be uh, unlocked uh, through uh, puzzle pieces, which is basically just... A club with an unexploded grenade on the end. I've also heard that you could possibly, it will randomly explode maybe when you're hitting people. So I don't know if that's at all true. That hasn't really quite been proven, but I'm interested to find that out. Uh, we have two sidearms, the Nagant revolver and the Oberiz pistol. Uh, as well, when we play the game, uh, complete this weapon's assignment. Uh, yes, 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 to get them. Uh, I don't quite have the weapon assignments on there. I don't know why I don't have the weapon assignments on here. Yeah, I know, complete the weapon assignments. Maybe it says it on another screen. Anyways, uh, 
Yeah, so the Fedorov I'm very excited about because this is an automatic rifle. It's the first automatic rifle for the Medic class, which I use a lot, so I'm excited to have an automatic rifle uh, to give that a shot. Uh, it's not a huge fire rate, but 26 rounds is pretty amazing for a Medic class. There are other automatic weapons like the 1907 Sweeper here or the say Regatti Factory, which can be switched to automatic, but really I've always wanted to try something new and I'm excited to give that a shot. Uh, primer, this is the Model 1900, uh, the slug in the factory. This is a double barrel side to side shotgun, very old school uh, shotgun. Well, I guess this really is old school because it's World War One. And an SMG uh, 818, the support class as the Parabellum MG1417, low weight and suppressive, and the Perineo model 18, 1908, 1808, <laughs> that'd be crazy. Sniper class, uh, I've still got to unlock my Martini Henry with 300 kills, but it's got the Mosin Nagat M91 infantry and Marksman, and the Vitelli Vitelli M1870-87 infantry and carbine there well they're snipers and they're obviously a little more damage the carbine is a little more hip fire as well so i'm interested to see how that plays out there's nothing really else uh besides those there's no extra grenades or anything like that they've just got the uh other perks of that nature so i'm interested to find all of those things to unlock them and see how we're going to go about uh, playing them and figuring them out. Uh, maybe some new tanks. I know there's going to be uh, a new game mode uh, where it, it, they're basically introducing uh, like resupplying and care packages. Uh, not really, it, it's more centric based around the package, like, you know, first one to the package gets the supplies, etc. Um, at least as far as team squads, but that one really hasn't uh, been looked at quite yet, so I'll have to play it more to uh, tell you more about it. Uh, but battle packs, uh, like I was saying, uh, the exchange rates, obviously we still got the exchanges, etc. Puzzle pieces, as you can see, they already had the Bartek Bludgeon and the Sawtooth Knife. Uh, then we had the Kukri, the Saber, and the Billhook, which I don't have yet, but I do have the Kukri, which are all puzzle pieces. Now, here we go. The Dud Club uh, is the new melee weapon I was talking about, a Dud Grenade that looks like it would make a mean bludgeon. Totally safe to use, probably. Uh, I also find it really interesting that it's a grenade mounted on a club, and it's still got the pin in it, so that's <laughs> interesting in itself. <clears throat> Again, this is just one of those puzzle piece things you get from opening battle packs uh, as you see, I've got a couple, and I accidentally actually deleted my bill hook. I got a third bill hook piece uh, a week ago, and I accidentally deleted it. I wasn't thinking about it when I did it, and I was a dummy because I was thinking for some reason it was the kukri, and obviously I already have that, and I kind of screwed up. So, anyways, need to get the pieces for that as well. Uh, that's pretty much it. So you got the service assignments here. Uh, your platoon obviously is still your. Uh, platoon, everything going on there. Weapons and gadgets. Uh, as you can see, metals uh, have been uh, increased. There are a couple of new uh, Russian metals. Let's see. Here we go. Uh, ba -ba, Verdun Heights, Charlemagne, Crown of Frederick. There we go. Service Metal Russian Labor. Uh, these are all just, you know, uh, ordered Peter the, Peter the Great. Um, these are all just Russian centric. Uh, there's a couple more. The Brusilov Star, um, Hero of Russia, which is, you know, 25 kills. Obviously, uh, you know, with every kit while you've got this metal selected, they're all random i mean they're still going to be random although it doesn't always feel random because the 
<clears throat> I seem to kind of get the same one sometimes, or maybe it's just random as far as based upon your type of play. I am more supportive and I do more, uh, you know, sidearm or medic stuff. So I seem to get a lot more of those. You know, I don't get a lot of these. Like this, like St. Sebastian's here with revolvers. I don't think I've ever gotten that one before. Uh, order the lion get 10 kills with melees. I mean, such a, I don't, I never see some of these. Uh, or maybe I have, and I just, you know, saw them once, but I, I don't seem to. Oh, here goes Spurs of the Cossack. Here's another new one. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it there. So we've got new medals. Uh, do we have any new ribbons? Do we have anything? I don't think so. Game mode. Oh, war pigeons, weapons, I've got those. Okay, no new ribbons, <clears throat> but also, as you can see, I mean, I'm a collector, I try and get some of the uh, codex as well. Um, I'm actually working on the Elite Automatical right now, which is 500 kills, get 2,500 XP. Um, so I'm working on that, but you're going to scroll down and you're going to have more uh, things, as you can see down here at the bottom, for all of the new uh, weapons and things of that nature. Ooh, the Coastal Gun, that's interesting. Get three kills with the 305-52 Coastal Gun. So I don't know if that's a new uh, sort of stationary weapon that looks interesting, though, and I'm looking forward to trying it out. Uh, also, the war, uh, celebrities, etc. Come on. It, nothing's... Okay, you know, it's just not going to click. Whatever. Okay. Any hoozle. That's pretty much uh, it. Obviously, the store is a store still. Uh, expansions, premium, things like that. You can still buy the unlocks. I uh, got the CTE. And, uh, yeah, I really don't know what else to tell you. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's all that's really come. Obviously, we'll have a double XP in the name of the Czar uh, going on right now. So I'm very excited. We're going to work on a lot of new things. Uh, oh, as, as you can see right down here at the bottom, right next to the battle packs, it initially started with the assault, and I switched. I selected to track the medic, so there you go. I'm tracking the medic now, and it keeps us, uh, you know, keeps tabs on us so we can uh, know exactly where we're going, where bond spending. I don't, I don't know why I got three. I, I still got like two weapons I got to get, but it's for getting like a, a level 10 uh, plane, and I never use the plane, so I'm never going to unlock those weapons. Anyways, uh, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you a little bit. We'll do some more uh, play later. I, well, I don't say more because I didn't really do any gameplay now. But we will definitely be doing gameplay later as well. Destiny 2 uh, comes out today. Uh, the release uh, the release in the game at uh, 10 p.m. Central Time. That's where I am, Northern Illinois. So we're getting excited for that. Uh, the game will get turned on at 11 p.m. Central Time. So we'll also be playing that. Look forward to uh, some Destiny 2 videos as well as some In the Name of the Czar. Uh, that should be coming to you tonight, I believe. Maddie's going to be back around... I think he's going to hop on around 6 p.m. Central Time. So expect at least me and Maddie, if not more people on. But we'll be showing you uh, lots of weapons and good stuff and new maps. All sorts of fun stuff. Be sure to comment, like, subscribe, hit the little bell. Get the notices when the new videos come out. And when we are live, because a lot of this I just do as live streaming. Whether it's here or Twitch, go down below, check out all the links, everything you want. If nothing else, just thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. I love all your faces. I'm your host, Bobaloo, and we will definitely see you later.